my detailing people. We out here at Penske. We got an um, odor elimination, some milk was spilt in the car. We got a shampoo that's jumping oh. off. But um, we're crunched for time. We have an hour and 30 minutes to two hours to finish this to get to our next one. The next one, he has to be going by 3.30. That's the time he gets off of work. So it's crunch time. This is how it is with business. Things don't always go the way that uh, you want it to go. You gotta roll with the punches and know how to move and grow. So y'all check it out. Wayne, I see you got help today. What's the game plan for everybody? So the game plan is, since this is his first day out, I'll just instruct him on the next thing to jump on since he doesn't know our system. He's a ride along, so he's just seeing the breakdown in the process. I'm thankful he's here to help because it's really gonna uh, play a part in how fast we're gonna finish. So right now he's picking up the trash. I'm gonna do the tornador, blow everything. I'm gonna have him vacuum. Jay got the extractor coming out, filling it up with water. I'll probably start spraying everything down drilling it and he'll come after me and extract, vice versa, or he'll drill it and I'll extract. I'll start the wipe down so everything, everybody has a task to do. Nobody's standing over each other like, what, what's next? It's just, you know, keep it moving. The person in charge is gonna set the tone on where everybody needs to go. So simple as that. All right, Wayne, what's next? What's next is all those phone calls slowed me down. That's what's next. I would have already been done shampooing, but as we're out here in the field, Receptionist calls me, certain things she can't answer. So it's all a part of the business. That's why I'm glad I have some assistance. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming when you really want to get to work, but the work is calling also. Anyways, I'm on the shampoo. He's wiping down, Jay's wiping down. We're about to start knocking out this odor right now. This lady probably needs to move right now. So let me talk to her right now. All right, Wayne, 30 minutes in. How's it looking? Uh, we would have been way farther if I didn't get stopped. How come you still getting phone calls? Well, sometimes I give some people certain deals, and when they call the receptionist, she's like, ah, oh, I don't know nothing about that. Wayne, seems like a crazy day, man. Does yeah. this happen a lot more now that you're growing, or is I, it just a rare occasion? Nah, what happened is we were actually supposed to split up. Our second van just started getting running. I didn't want Jay to go out by himself. The people that normally have my back that are able to come out and ride with them, which is my brother, and my wife will go to the shop. Our air conditioning at home went out, so she had to stay home so that the maintenance can come in, so she wasn't able to cover the shop. So, which put us in a situation where we all had to stick together. So, you know, it's our fault. Nothing to do with the customers. All we could do is work and roll with the punches. It just sounded like life to me. So what my man Reyes was saying, I'm not gonna take the credit for it. Since I'm learning how to run a company, I need to get the structure down solid in one van. So with me selling the van, it pushes me to get that one van in order. So when I'm ready for the second one, then, you know, I'll have that money saved up and ready to get another van. So comment down below, how y'all feeling? I'm a little hurt right now, just a little bit, just the thought of even selling it. If it's mint, hey, nine, 9,000, hey, I'll take that, man. That'd be a good investment to the next one. So that's all. All right, Wayne, 1 p.m., man, where we at? We should have been about done about 30 minutes ago, but uh, things always happen during the detail, you know? And you just gotta move and groove according to uh, the cards you've been dealt, you know? So I'm gonna let them know that ETA is gonna be 2 p.m. Jay's talking about he's hungry, but we have to be done by 3.30, so if we get there at two, that's how long, hour and 30 minutes to finish? That shampoo and all that? No, oh. in and out. Clay bar, though. I think we may have to wait on the food, even though I'm very hungry. And uh, we need to eat, but the client needs his car done, so. Yeah, they just wrote me and asked uh, when's the ETA, so. Oh, so they're waiting on you. Yeah, and this guy here um, has been waiting for three years and watched me on Instagram and said he had, didn't get a car that was worthy to get detailed and he finally got that. So he booked with us and uh, that's a blessing. Now, Wayne, when customers are asking you, hey, what time are you gonna be finished? What time are you gonna get here? Mm -hmm. Are you still coming today? That adds a little bit of pressure, doesn't it? You know, like, man, now I gotta hurry up because they're waiting on me. Or how do you handle that situation? The only reason why I'm overwhelmed is because we intended on splitting up. I don't worry if I get behind. I'm just like, hey, I have to push it. 
you know what I mean? But when we start doing stuff and I don't know how it's gonna go or what's going on, then that's when I get to moving around like crazy and stuff. We thought it would be a better idea to stick together, stay together, you know? The helper came out from the Bay Area to help us. So I thought it would be faster for us to just knock it out together. But uh, things happen. It is what it is. What did I think of the detail? Like I said before, he's been waiting for three years. He finally got a car that he, uh, he liked. He looked forward to after watching me for three years to finally bring it to me to detail. He was very excited. He said it looked amazing. And he went back in, grabbed another guy to come out and check it out. And um, he loved the smell. We had to do an odor eliminator and it went smooth. It took us a little bit longer than we expected, but um, it happens. Just as long as the client is happy, we're happy. You know, and we're still within the time frame of 100 an hour, so I can't complain. Now, he said he found you on Instagram or and he saw your YouTube videos? Actually, it was YouTube which led to the Instagram. So he stays updated with me on the Instagram. Y'all, shout out to Reyes for the YouTube, promoting you guys. You guys are looking for sponsors, looking for more work. You're looking for whatever it is you're trying to do. Hey, hit them up, description down below. As you guys can see, I like to show the real, good and bad, happy, sad. You're gonna get it right here, 100. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We got a detail back here that we gotta knock out. Y'all stay tuned for the next video that's to come. We'll see y'all.